In today's video, I'm gonna tell you what makes a daughter of Zion ugly. My answer might shock you. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, oftentimes women don't understand what makes them ugly. And I want to point you to a specific and I want to point you to a specific uh, passage in the Bible about the daughters of Zion being haughty and high-minded. And further down, the Most High Yah says he is going to strike them with scabs of baldness. Man, when you look at, you know, a daughter of Zion in her natural state, man, you are looking at not only a, a chosen woman, but a very uh, beautiful woman in her natural state. You know, just the way the Most High Yah made her in her natural state, okay? What makes the daughters of Zion ugly is, uh, disclaimer, chances are if you're a woman, uh, you may not like this. You know, men have been telling the daughters of Zion, black women, that they prefer them natural. They prefer them natural. The men who commit, who marry daughters of Zion prefer them natural. Man, a woman's processing of logic is very, uh, is very, you know, very entangled. Meaning she's not able to process the logic of a man that will commit to her and process that information and gain understanding. What a daughter of Zion will do is say, okay, well, these men who desire my body and desire to sleep with me, they don't mind my long hair, my long nails, all this makeup. You got these foolish men that they rather listen to that desire all of this vanity and fakeness. Why? Because they, as men, move in a vanity, a very vain and false capacity. And the daughters of Zion will sway to that reasoning and logic when it's void of righteousness. You see, man, there's a lot of daughters of Zion uh, that think it's normal to have a uh, a drawer full of wigs and weave. That's not normal. That's not normal. That in itself, you having to uh, defile yourself and put something on your head that's not yours, organic to your head, that makes you ugly. You know, uh, the beautification. When we look at biblically, man, there are no righteous women. Like, you don't have passages about Abraham's wife, Sarah, uh, who was righteous, put no makeup. You just don't have it. But you see that uh, Jezebel, that was what she did when we learn, okay, who, who taught us this stuff? It was the, when we see who taught uh, women this stuff about cosmetics, it was the fallen angels. Fallen angels don't mean righteous. That means you was fallen in a fallen state. You know, and oftentimes women don't realize that. And oftentimes the daughters of Zion don't realize that natural black women and men who uh, want to commit themselves to black women, natural women, they avoid the woman that gives off that bad B-I-T-C-H energy with all costs, because behind all of that, uh, OK, the, the 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 bad bitch costume, the lace front, uh, the makeup to make yourself look lighter. 
you know. Uh, nowadays, uh, these women are getting tattoos all in crap on their face, looking crazy. You know, all of the 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 peerings, the 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 word says, uh, a ring in a pig's nose is like a woman without discretion, and we got all these daughters of Zion uh, walking around with all this stuff, lips, all, all kind of craziness. This is what makes a daughter of Zion ugly. It's the same as uh, seeing a woman from the Caucasus Mountains that's got brown or, or blonde hair put on these fake eyelashes. And what color do they? They make one color for all these fake eyelashes. Jet black. That shit looks crazy. That looks crazy. That's what makes a woman ugly. When a daughter of Zion is moving in that bad bitch costume, you're not gonna get a uh, genuine confidence. You're gonna get confidence that's rooted in being false and fake. And then that confidence, because it is deceitful, is gonna uh, warrant a lot of attitude, a lot of uncooperativeness, a lot of unsubmissiveness, you know, gonna, gonna warrant they're moving in a masculine spirit because they have to try to defend their fakeness, their falseness. You see what I'm saying? See, it is sickening to see these women, all facets of women, you know, put on these doggone, the rest of your hair, uh, you know, most high y'all gave women beautiful eyelashes as it is, straight out. But you spend your money like, like women work to be vain. A lot of these independent women work to be vain. You work in good jobs, going to get degrees, all of that, so you can buy more expensive wigs, vanity. Buy uh, 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 eyelashes that somebody has to put on. Fake eyelashes. David said, I hate every false way. You know, now... Uh, the bad bitch costume, you got to have these long nails. They got to be, uh, have all the diamonds and all the rhinestones on them. Man, that stuff, when you see these women with these long nails, watch how they talk. All of it, like, who the hell want to deal with that? Who the heck wants to deal with that? That's where the, 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 the physical ugliness of daughters of Zion that move fake. It's not the daughters of Zion are ugly naturally. No, hell no. We have some beautiful women, beautiful women. It's all the stuff that you do to yourself to try to fit in to a world uh, that already, you know, is going to persecute you. And that comes from the book because you are uh, daughters of Zion, rather than taking the guidance of men that actually want to commit to daughters of Zion, when a man calls you fake false because you move in a fake false capacity, what do you do? You say, well, he probably likes white women. He's probably gay, probably homosexual, probably got a little dick. Like that's what you, that's how your logic plays out. When somebody uh, corrects you in order so you can no longer defile yourself, you know, then there's then there's insult. But I'm telling you, man, there's a lot of there's a lot of men out there that have daughters of Zion uh, that that would wish that their women would get rid of these doggone wig boxes, the weave drawers, all of this stuff. You got to look at uh, an, a woman that can simply put on some lotion, maybe a little lip gloss, you know, do her own hair, that can just go out into the world and truly be confident. That's a confident woman. That woman is, uh, you're generally gonna find a more submissive, modest, meek spirit in a woman like that because she's setting herself apart from the worldly daughters of Zion, the worldly women. See, in a, in a daughter of Zion's mind that's fake and false, she will say, okay, well, this is a natural 
weave. This is a natural wig. The hairstyle is natural. When a man comes from natural, we're coming from a place of, did it grow on your head? And, and, and a woman will say, well, I, their logic, once you break it down like that, well, I paid for it, so it's mine. And it's the same thing. You got to think, like, I tell you, a lot of these brothers that's getting these man weaves and all of that, bro, that just that just degrades any of your care. Like, it's, it's fake and false. For you to sit up and go through the same uh, deceptive uh, daily or monthly routine of getting some fake hair glued into your head as a man, like, I don't want to be around you. You have a sneaky, uh, deceptive, manipulative type character. You want people to compliment you on your fakeness while you're telling yourself, looking in the mirror, you're real. I'm telling you, daughters of Zion, see, I'm wise enough to let you sit out there and suffer. I'll educate you from a distance. You see what I'm saying? All of that, all in your face and hoorah and want to step toe to toe to a man. Hey, that ain't going to work when you are going against the will of the most high Yah. Man, another thing that makes a daughter of Zion ugly, uh, uh, physically and spiritually, not only you are you moving in this uh, bad bitch image, this bad bitch costume, but here's what comes along with that. When you defile yourself to a point like a lot of the haughty and high-minded daughters of Zion have done, guess what? You're quick to have all these babies, but you're slow to marry. You prioritize having all these babies, but you don't want to damn marry. You are going against the will of Yah when he says, I will have that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give the adversary no occasion to speak reproachfully. A lot of these haughty and high-minded daughters of Zion give the adversary every occasion to speak reproachfully because you're going in a direction that's anti-most high Yah, that's anti-righteousness. You got to think, man, there's women out there uh, that hate their image of self so bad, they got to go get fake toenails, fake eyelashes, fake hair. You know, doing all this craziness. Only to go out and look like you got a mop on your head. Only to go. And then you got to cake all this makeup around the lake. That looks crazy. That looks crazy. Meanwhile, it's 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 rare to see a woman with her natural, a daughter of Zion with her natural hair. When you see that, man, it's like a breath of fresh air. Because majority is women out here, daughters of Zion, that call themselves real. Uh, their reality is operating in a capacity that's fake on a daily basis. I'm telling you, when I'm traveling, I, I go to these, I got to fly through Atlanta, uh, Houston. Man, I'm looking around like, I'm not paying, I, I can't because you are a Decepticon. That's what makes you physically and spiritually ugly as a daughter of Zion. The attitude that comes with you. The uh, always, uh, you the, the fakest one in the room, but always thinking somebody out to get you. You the one that's fake. Who you out to try to fool? Who you out trying to get? Trying to deceive? You see what I'm saying? And here's the thing, the last thing. The woman, the daughter of Zion that moves in that bad B-I-T-C-H costume, bad bitch costume. Let me tell you something. You're not gonna out, out logic her because let me tell you something. You're not going to out argue her. That's a waste of time because she is void of truth. You're not going to out argue her. She will triangulate, move the goalpost. And then when she feels like uh, you're making too much sense, guess what she's going to do? She's going to play the victim. This is truly the things that make the daughters of Zion ugly physically and spiritually. There are men out there, black men that desire daughters of Zion. But just like the book says, what makes you think a good man wants a haughty and high-minded daughter of Zion? You know, you sitting up here thinking because you got a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, that that uh, moves you up on the list of being a qualified wife. Hell no, it moves you further down the totem pole when statistics show that 
90% of divorces are filed by college educated women. I'm just, I'm just applying basic logic and reasoning. The book is telling us as men that count ourselves as righteous and walking upright, keeping the most high Yah's feast days, his commandments, his laws and statues to go after a certain type woman. You're trying to uh, trick us into going uh, a different way than the book says. And when, 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 when we've wasted and invested so much time, you're the victim in a situation. Hell no. Hell to the no, no, no. <laughs> I'm telling you, look at this. You got Vivica A. Fox, uh, uh, old and bloated. This woman has rode the carousel, you know, been with all these doggone men, and now at 60 years old, she wants to get married. Who, what man is lining up to get with old fake vain Vivica Fox? You gotta think, when she was younger, that was possibly fertile soil but she used those youthful years to defile herself. And today, what'd she do? When she had she had the fake hair, the fake nails, the makeup, all of that stuff while looking bloated, you know, defiled, talking about she's ready to settle down. She's looking for Mr. Right. Crazy, crazy as hell. You get what you get when you go against the book. Going to church is not gonna save these haughty and high-minded daughters of Zion. You know why? Because just like in the book, they allowed Jezebel in the pulpit and the church got called out for it in Revelations. And a lot of black women look to Jezebel uh, women preachers and that's anti-book. And that's why the church is not gonna save you. You're gonna get what you're gonna get. You will remain physically and spiritually ugly to men that want to commit. No matter what you do, as long as you keep operating and a fake and false capacity, these men are gonna steer clear you. Men see that lace front, let me go the other way. See all that makeup, let me go the other way. See these long nails, let me go the other way. See these fake old eyelashes, let me go the other way. This is a woman that will ruin your house. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.